Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth, and I just recently got back from two vacations. The first was to Michigan, and that's where this little story is going to come from. And then the second is to Florida, and I only mention that because I hope I look a little bit tan right now, and I just want to put a disclaimer that when this whole story went down, I was not looking very tan at all, and that's why it's a big deal. So as you can tell by the title of this video, my vacation and trip to Michigan ended with a trip to me going to the ER. Um, that's never really happened to me before. It was quite crazy. I was in Silver Lake, at the Silver Lake Sand Dunes or in Mears, Michigan, and we were coming back last Friday and the plan was to stop in South Bend Indiana and see my sister I don't usually get to see her and we we're gonna go get lunch and so Emily is a vegan and she sent me a, bunch, a big list of restaurants that she would eat in in South Bend that would be like good for all of us so I was like all right well I don't really care let's pick whatever the girls that I was with like no one really like cared where we went and so it came down to it and we were like oh yeah let's just go to like a Chinese restaurant or something so I told her to pick between the two and there was a Vietnamese slash Chinese restaurant and then just a Chinese restaurant. Restaurant. <laughs> she picked the Vietnamese slash Chinese, which is great. Um, to put it out there, I had not had breakfast that morning. It was like two o'clock in the afternoon, so I was so hungry. And the night before, if you guys watched the vlog, um, you would see that we had like just chips with like melted cheese on them for dinner. So I was so hungry. We got into this little restaurant and they brought us a little like tray of those like little Chinese chip things. I don't know exactly what they are, but they give them to you every time you go to a like dine-in Chinese restaurant. I've had them a bunch of times before. I was freaking starving. So I just like eating them, eating them, eating them. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> these are so good. Mistake. I literally just kept shoving him down my throat. I didn't look what was on him or anything. And all of a sudden, my throat started to get like, really like, I want to say cloudy because it was kind of like itchy and I don't know, like I could just tell in the back of my throat, in the, my mouth, like the feeling there it was wrong. And like I stopped eating them for a second and I took a like sip of water and I was like, you guys know what? I've always, I looked at, I picked up one of the chip things and looked at it and I was like, do these have sesame seeds on them? And they were like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I've always kind of had a problem with sesame seeds. Like, it's never been like diagnosed as an allergy or anything, but like, I don't eat them very well. I don't like them very much. Like, it makes my throat feel funny. And they're like, are you sure you're not allergic? And I was like, I've honestly never had like anything diagnosed about it. So I don't think so. I think I've just been like avoiding them because every time I've had them in the past like it's been a very uncomfortable feeling in my throat and they were like okay well just don't eat anymore and I was like okay and so I was like I need to get this taste out of my mouth like I have no idea what it is but something is like very 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 wrong so I got sweet and sour chicken and that came and I took like two bites of it and my mouth just could not handle anything more going into it and so I was like all right girl you, you just won't eat. We'll stop and get you something else afterwards. I was like, you just got to wait for everyone else to finish and then we can go. And I still had like a four hour drive home from there. Like we're in the middle of our road trip here. Not like I was down the street from my own house. <laughs> and I was like, it's okay. It's okay. You just, you make it through the meal and we can go. We can go home and everything will be fine. Well, I didn't make it through the meal. My face started getting so red. That's why I brought up the sunburn. Like, bright, 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 bright red. And I was like, oh no. Like, this is so bad. My friends started looking at me and they are like, Elizabeth, are you sure you're okay? Like, your face is bright red. My neck started itching. I had a v-neck on and my chest was just like breaking out in hives. And they were like, girl, are you okay? And I was like, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. My ears started feeling funny. I was itching everywhere. And then I started coughing. And I was like, oh, this is bad. This is bad. And once the coughing turned to like a wheezing, I, my throat literally started to swell up and I could not breathe. And I was sitting there and I was like, we need to call mom. Like I looked at my sister and I was like, 
we need to call mom like what do we do and so I called her and she started freaking out of course why wouldn't you um she started freaking out I was like you need to go to the hospital and so as she's like giving me all these instructions on the phone like I can't talk to her like I need to focus on breathing that much that I literally cannot make a conversation with her and we get up from the table my sister and I and she's like come on I'll drive you to the ER and I was like okay and so my other friends are still sitting there at the table they finish their food and they pay for everything and then they'll just meet us there so Emily and I get up and we're walking out of the restaurant and I call David David's my boyfriend and I started crying on the phone I was like David I think I'm having an allergic reaction and I can't breathe and that was all I could tell him on the phone because I I couldn't talk and then he started freaking out and I just <laughs> had to hang up on him because then I had to call my dad but then by the time I got to talk to my dad I literally like it was so hard to talk and so Emily's driving me to the hospital trying to talk on the phone for me obviously we don't have answers we're just like she can't breathe that's the problem we're going to the hospital for the answers but once we got there it turned out not to be like like we didn't go to the floor that the emergency department is on we went on the one above it because that's the one the directly off the street we didn't like pull our car down around to the er part of it and so like where we went in was like it kind of looked like a elderly community center or something but Emily went in the roundabout dropped me off and I get out of the car and I'm like struggling breathing walking in like trying to hurry and I get in the door and there's this little old lady standing there with like her little name badge and a polo shirt obviously like ready for her day at work and my face is like bright red and I'm like holding my throat and I looked at her and I was like I think I'm having an allergic reaction and I can't breathe of course this is all like I think I'm having like you know <laughs> um but she looks at me and she was like are you here by yourself like her face went white completely and I was like managed to say that my sister was parking the car and she was like okay well you need to go downstairs to the emergency department and I looked at her and I was like girl I'm not from here like I am four hours from home like I don't know where that is and she looked at me and she was like oh dear lord and I was like girl same I know by this time my sister runs in the lady working puts me in a wheelchair and pushes me in the elevator and Emily gets in and she looks at me not Emily but the lady pushing me looks at me and she's like have you been in the sun a lot and I was like this isn't a sun reaction like my skin was not like this 20 minutes ago like <laughs> this is probably all connected and she was like oh no and I was like yeah I know well she wheels me down there we get in they are just taking their sweet old time getting me checked in getting my insurance card luckily I have it all as a pdf on my phone from school or else I don't know what would have happened but they eventually wheeled me back I could not breathe like at all and he gets me into the room lays me on the table and the like my sister's on the phone with my mom and it's on speaker and like we're in a basement type of thing I guess I don't know these were details that my mind was like not a priority at the moment <laughs> um but we're down there and my mom's on speaker talking to my sister and it's going like in and out because of service down there and so the doctor is like ma'am I'm gonna have to give your daughter an EpiPen because she's having a really bad allergic reaction like is this okay with you and the phone's cutting in and out and my sister looks at him and was like she's 22 it's okay she can make her own decisions and I was like give me the freaking EpiPen <laughs> and so he kept telling he keeps telling me this is gonna hurt so bad this is gonna be so much pain I'm so sorry that I have to do this blah 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 blah, blah. and I was like just stab my leg with it already please and so he just goes and like shoves it in my leg I've never had an EpiPen before I've never had an allergic reaction and he just goes and does it and like almost immediately my body like reacts to it and like he's like okay this will only take a few minutes and it should all start getting better and my breathing eventually got easier and my skin started to get back to normal my hives started to go away um then I started like uncontrollably shaking because my body was like freezing and all this air condition. Like I had been camping in a cabin for like four or five days or something without any air condition. And I was like laying there in just shorts and a tank top or a v-neck or whatever on his like medical examination table and I was freezing. So I was like, <laughs> but it was okay. Um, then they came in and gave me um, some like liquid steroids to take. 
and I got to walk out of there with my own EpiPen and some steroids to take for a few days. So we're all good now. <laughs> But yeah, it was very scary. I have to make an appointment with an allergist to get officially diagnosed for sesame seeds and to see if it's also like sesame oil or, you know, any other kinds of seeds or nuts or whatever, because I, I've always just kind of stuck away from those things and I guess I know why now. But yeah, that's my crazy story of going to the ER in the middle of my drive home from Michigan. Um, I'm so glad that I was there with Emily and Nicole and Sarah because they could just help me take care of everything and make it all work out. Um, as soon as I walked out, um, uh, I looked at them because Sarah and Nicole were still in the waiting room and I looked at them and I was like, I should have vlogged today because I literally said ending the vlog the night before, oh, I'm not going to vlog tomorrow. It's just going to be a boring ride home. Should have done it. It would have been very interesting, but <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, guys, that's it for my story time. That was my crazy adventure of the trip, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. The, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel to check out some of my other videos. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!